right, horseshoe sign right there. Tough to see because it's like actually too bright for the camera to pick up, but it's right there. Uh, another installment. Think this is the ninth installment of mean, stupid, wrong YouTube comments. Let's get to the first one. Got to read it off my phone. Here we go. Uh, this one, this one was a very strange one. Let me make some more space down there. Are you ever wrong? And then in parentheses, wait, I'm saying this to a guy who sells quotes he thinks are ridiculous, but are really just boring. I actually wasn't even sure if this guy was talking to me. There was a comment someone left, and then like two people replied to that, and then I said something in that comment thread. And then this guy said something later. Probably talking to me, could be talking to the original commenter, I'm not sure. The sells quotes things, I have no idea what he's talking about. Maybe the original commenter is like a friend of his and sells like homeowner's insurance or works at a car dealership. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's, it's tough. It's tough to even get a handle on what the guy was talking about when I'm not even sure if I was the person that he left that comment for. But I don't know. Strange, regardless of who he was talking to. I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, but yeah, so it's not, I guess it's not mean guess it's not wrong. I guess that was a stupid one. Next, this was in relation to uh, the profit loss number, which was like minus 590 or something, when I did the uh, the week, uh, the 2-5 challenge. Guy says, no wonder he is tilted, probably his biggest losing week in years, lol. I guess this guy thinks the goal in poker is to lose a lot of money, and the fact that I don't have frequent large losing weeks is a bad thing. That was the best I could decipher for that one. Third one. This was interesting. This took a couple back and forths. Not as many as the other guy would hope, but the quote here is, why would I fly to Vegas to play low stakes? Uh, this, this guy claimed to be an expert on how to beat 1-2 at MGM. There's no chance he ever played it. I never thought he did. And it only took like three back and forths or so for him to admit that he never played it. He didn't just say like bluff a lot or like bet for value. He got a little specific with uh, some like actual hands he typed out. And then after a few back and forths, he admitted he very rarely goes to Vegas. And when he does, he does not play 1-2 at MGM. So exactly what I suspected and eventually got him to admit it. Fourth one, uh, this, had, uh, this had a few parts, none of which made any sense. Zero poker results. Have you wondered why your channel isn't growing? Nobody wants to wait three months to hear your challenge results. This was interesting. This was on the 2-5 challenge also. The comment was left on the day one video, but it was left like a week later. So he left the comment for the day one video but actually, I think it was 17 hours before he typed out that comment, I had published the profit loss video. So if he just watched the correct video, he could have seen every single result from every single session I played, Vegas and California, 1-2 and 1-3 and 2-5. He chose to watch that video instead. Uh, also, zero poker room. Like I said, that the results for that challenge were right there. Also, I don't think there's anyone who's ever started a YouTube channel who's given more results than me. Pretty sure I'm up to like 11,600 hours of results given, something close to that. Also, on uh, the channel not growing, at the time he left that comment, I had the channel about two years, six and a half months. About 30% of all my subscribers had subscribed in the most recent 90 days. So. If he wants to look up what uh, growing means, maybe in the future when he uses that word, he'll use it correctly instead of incorrectly. And uh, final one for uh, this iteration, ninth edition of this uh, this recurring segment. This was about the uh, the day I flew to San Diego to go, for more than anything, to go to the uh, Tony Gwynn Steakhouse Buffet, Tony Gwynn Sports Pub Buffet. Looking forward to chicken parm, prime rib and lobster crushes chicken parm, well, prime rib and lobster, by the way, are two things, so they crush, not crushes. But prime rib and lobster crushes chicken parm, and you can get chicken parm for cheaper and more places, no punctuation after places. Uh, yeah, you know, that, I'll admit, that was my biggest mistake that day, not asking strangers on the internet the foods I liked. 
before I went to the restaurant in Hamul in the casino and ate things. I should really always check with people I've never heard of or seen before and ask them what, what foods do I like and what foods do I want to eat that day because that, that's just something I can't answer on my own. Hope you like that edition of this ninth one. Uh, there will be plenty more. This will probably be the longest recurring segment I ever have. And uh, we're up to nine. I have a feeling it'll very easily get to like 100 at some point. And remember, rice is a spoon food. <laughs>